He is an actual medical doctor during the daylight hours. A nice welcome for Dr. Harry Friedman. So, um, I am an actual doctor, and I'm looking at this crowd. I wish I had this many in my waiting room. As I used to before the last indictment. I don't know if you guys remember, about 10 years ago, there was a doctor who carved his initials in a woman's abdomen. Ever since that happened, I'm doing comedy on a full-time basis. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do the rest of my act the way to a medical exam. Would that be okay? Yeah. Great. Ladies, I'd like you all to start taking your clothes off. <laughs> and men, I'd like you to just leave. <laughs> You're not needed, I work alone. I do a lot of surgery though. I'm pretty good, because whenever I do surgery, I use a lot of extra anesthesia every time. I think this way, but if I screw it up, I'm so stoned, I don't really care what happens. <laughs> I've gotten a point that so many operations, I can look at your chart ahead of time, pretty much know how it's gonna go, just by whether or not you have any insurance. I'll tell you right now, HMO does not mean have more operations. But there are times I'll be in the middle of an operation, I'll look down and I'll just suddenly realize, you know what? I don't think I know what I'm doing on this one. <laughs> I like to call that exploratory surgery. <laughs> Other times I'm trying to make an incision, I'll be shaking, you know, because Parkinson's has that effect. <laughs> I'll end up making a giant X. As soon as I make the first X, I gotta play the whole game of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> So what I do is I listen to music to relax whenever I do surgery. I'll do I typically start off with que sera, sera. <laughs> Depending on what happens, I end up with he's a magic man or stairway to heaven. <laughs> and I'm actually very excited. I just opened up a brand new melanoma clinic, which is right down the street from my tanning salon. <laughs> there are legal rules to protect you from bad doctors. We can't operate on relatives, and that's very smart, because otherwise, my mother would have been dead about 14 years ago. I see somebody who looks like her, I'll cut her up. I don't know, I hate her, she makes me nuts, I hate her. You know what, I'm starting to hate her daughter too, for that matter. I wouldn't mind killing my whole family. You guys are pretty sick, maybe I'll pay one of you to finish her off.